Welcome to Dialogues. Thank you. Why and how did you start your uh, business with、uh, education as the core value? I was always interested as a child in, in, in culture and that different people spoke different languages and they had different cultures, different backgrounds. So、um, I decided that I wanted to go into that business and try to、um, give the possibility to more young people to learn another language. Then why did you decide to、uh, start a program called Education First, and what's the essence of this program? Well, we have different programs in Education First, but I, I was fortunate enough that I was sent、um, in my late teens to England. I'm Swedish, from Sweden to England. Um, to learn English because I, as I couldn't read, it was hard to to、um, learn to speak to speak English,、mm-hmm. and I was sent to England to to、um, learn to speak and un- understand English, and、um, I thought that was a great idea. I thought other people should have that possibility, and that's when when I started the our organization by sending Swedish young students. Um, on their summer vacation to England to learn English. So、yeah. there must be a set of rules governing the way you conduct your business, and why has it become so successful? I think it's been a big need to learn、uh, a foreign language, not only English, but、uh, in many countries it's really English, which is the main the main language we we teach. But I think it's, it's a big need to learn a、um, a foreign language. Um, if you come from a small country like I do, nobody、uh, understands Swedish except the Swedes. And if you want to do business or research、um, outside Sweden, you have to learn another language. If it's German or French or English or Mandarin, but but with Swedish you can't work. And then、uh, later, in about 1972, the Japanese decided to use English as their、uh, computer language. At that time, you couldn't use signs. Uh, in the computer, and、um, the, the Chinese followed suit, and, and, and then English became the world's language,、mm-hmm. and that's what business people and researchers. What's your competitive edge?、Uh, we do more research than I think anyone else does.、Um, how to better uh, teach uh, people a foreign language?、Um, the The main thing in a country like China is, of course, to because your your school education is, is focus a lot on how to read and write, but perhaps not so much on to speak and f- that you feel comfortable to speak a foreign language. So our schools here try to have the the atmosphere that you can relax and you can speak and you know don't be afraid of speaking and and that's. To sort of start a positive circle, and I think we've been very good at that. Mr. Hart, you are pretty quick to capture the idea of the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing. Does this event have a lot to do with the business opportunities、uh, for companies like、uh, Education First? We're very honoured to have been chosen to to be the. The language school、um, in Seoul, when when Korea had the the Olympics, we were also chosen to be their official language school,、mm-hmm. and and we are very honoured to be that. By the end of this interesting interview, what do you want to say to those who have unfortunately suffered from、uh, similar problems and could not write very well?、Uh, what suggestions would would you give them? Well, I think as as, as long as you Uh, never give up.、Uh, you, you mustn't feel sorry for yourself. You know, whatever we, however we're born in life, we we have to、um, enjoy the the other possibilities we have, and、um, and never give up. Thank you very much. Thank you.、Sir.